Hi, Tom Trento here in downtown Orlando, Florida, October 15, 2011, at the Occupy Orlando event, a sister event to Occupy Wall Street. We brought the United West film teams, several of them, to this event to kind of get a feel for the essence the heartbeat of this movement. And though we, uh, we were suspicious of Islamic influence, we had no real evidence, folks, until today. You're not going to believe some of the evidence we're going to present that links this movement with uh, a key um, uh, individual, Muslim individual, who's associated with CARE and the Muslim Brotherhood. Um, and this individual has assumed a leadership, if not the leader of this movement in Orlando. And to tell you the story, we got to go back to 2009 when Rifka Barry, the Muslim teenager who converted to Christianity, fled to Florida and a uh, custody battle occurred with Rifka not wanting to be returned to her parents. A Muslim attorney in Florida by the name of Shia Ilati represented Rifka Barry's parents. Joining me now is attorney Shayan Alahi, who represents Rifka's father, Mohammed Barry. Shayan, thanks for being with us tonight. And um, he was unsuccessful in that bid. He was defeated. Uh, Rifka eventually went to Ohio and then got total freedom. But remember the name Shia Ilati. Well, in fact, take a look at Shia Ilati. Oh, yes, I understand. Do you know what a referendum is? Yes, and they don't really work. See, the people cannot, uh, we cannot... What is a referendum? Continuing from my point, the people cannot... I'm asking you what a referendum is. Right, but I've never finished my sentence, so I know that you're kind of incendiary, and that's nice. Uh, let me just tell you. Yeah, something. sure. He's one of the biggest bigots in town. Yeah. Just leave him alone. Leave him alone. He's one of the biggest hate people in town. Go ahead, just talk. Don't push things into people's faces. We can do whatever we want. Well, if, don't if push people, it into people's faces. If, we're going to tell people, the cops. Don't tell us whatever you want. Yeah, but these are all you know? respectful of people. Everybody's just like, lost. lost. Like, lost. Like, do that. Like, lost. lost. You're the biggest like, racist thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cheyenne. There he is, our friend. Um, Again, we weren't here to, uh, we didn't even know Alati was going to be here, but as I was interviewing a gentleman about his reason for being here, I look to my left and I get interrupted by Elati again, who is extremely upset and, and unbalanced, and, well, you take a look. Watch this. Uh, Vietnam vet, thank you for your service. Where'd you serve? You're welcome. You play coup. With the uh, U.S. Army? With the U.S. Army, yes, I did. You know what? I have, I have a right. I have a right. I just want to let you okay, know. Thank you. Thank you. I have the right to talk to you. Oh, you should. You should. Okay. But just to let you know. Thanks for the warning. Thanks for the warning. Okay. So now we're trying to figure out what the heck is this guy doing here? And as our cameras capture him, it's evident that he is one of the leaders. He's signing people up to speak. He's organizing it. And as we moved around more, we saw that not only is he one of the leaders, he seems to be the primary leader of Occupy Orlando. Now, here's where we have to connect the dots to the Muslim Brotherhood. Um, 2009, when he was representing Rifka Barry's parents, he was very involved with CARE of Florida and CARE of Ohio. We know CARE, an unindicted co-conspirator to the Holy Land Foundation trial, CARE is essentially Hamas, we know that. Hamas is a Muslim Brotherhood entity, we know that, factual information. So one or two steps removed from Occupy Orlando is Shia Alati's involvement with the Muslim Brotherhood. But take a look at what we found as the mission statement of Occupy Orlando on their Facebook page. The mission statement itself points to the Arab Spring and the movements in, in Egypt and in these various places. So the fundamental purpose for Occupy Orlando reaches into the Arab Spring when you connect the dots and have a Muslim leader who's connected to CARE, it's an easy connection to connect Eladi to the Muslim Brotherhood. So our proposition that the Muslim Brotherhood is taking over the Arab Spring internationally seems to be holding true here in Orlando also. Something to think about, something to look at. We're going to bring you a lot more information on this, but be aware. 
we have Islamic Sharia compliant involvement now in these Occupy Wall Street, Occupy Orlando, Occupy events. Serious, serious transition in a bad direction. Guys, follow him. Media. Follow him. Media. Media. Oh. Oh, John. Stay on there, stay on there. Let's just go where he goes. We have every right if he's there, we're here. Decide to move, please move on the park. It's past 11. Respect the city attorneys and the police officers, please. Uh, Thanks, guys. We do Let's appreciate it. Everybody decided to walk, so we're moving, please. Thank you. Come on, guys. Come on, gentlemen. We had this chat earlier today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, gentlemen. Keep moving. Where are you? Get this. It's your choice. You're in the dump. But you're here. You're going to put a blemish on the movement. It's been a beautiful day. It's your choice. But we're requesting you. I'm not no, telling I, you to I do something. I have no intention of getting the rest of this. Okay. That's your choice. Thank you. But I think it's just a, it's past 11. And if you want, you know, if you wish to, it's a request. It's not a demand. It's your choice. You know. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye, guys. So they got a media team. They have made it so good. The thing is, they have made it so yeah. expensive to get arrested. You know how much it costs to get arrested these days? I don't know how much it costs to get arrested these days. You know how much it costs to get arrested these days? It costs like at least. So they got a media team and. And, and a lot of just came and uh, basically told everybody they got to leave. So he's, he's running the show. There's no question. And, and, but he said it in such a way as it wasn't a demand, it was a request. But. Uh, He's running the show. He's right over there to your right. Okay. <laughs> Talking to a few of the guys uh, Occupy Orlando, <clears throat> they vacated the park as you could see. As you could see. As you could see. Thank <laughs> you. Um, and, and the plan is to uh, do it in stages. One group walks. Uh, two groups walk, one group sleeps, on and off, all night long. <clears throat> uh, and then with the desire of getting a mass amount of people and uh, occupying the park with, with thousands and thousands and thousands. That's one of the goals. See what happens. Occupy Orlando! Hell no! We won't go! Occupy Orlando! Hell no! We won't go! Occupy Orlando! Hell no! We won't go! Occupy Orlando! Occupy Orlando! So you two are the media and legal observer and the media, what's that, media, legal observer, both of your legal observers? Yes. And your legal observers for whom? For the Occupy Orlando movement. Are you, who are you with? I'm Mark with the UnitedWest.org. AtlantaWest.org? The UnitedWest.org. The United yeah, West. you got it. And then who, what's your name? Is that Mark? Yeah. My name's Amy. Amy, how you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I'm the dead man. I'm not trying to litter there. Okay. So you're with uh, Asayed, and you're representing him as a, as a legal. Yeah, I went through I went through a legal observer training. With the with the with Asayed Alahi. Yeah. Shalahi. Yeah. So he's here as yeah, a legal he's here. representative for he's this here. group. Yeah. And. And he's with you as for, for, for photography. I'm just trying to find out what's going on. Yeah, well, we're part of the legal observer team, which means that obviously we're just making sure mm -hmm. that if anything does happen, that we have the right information. Um, you know, and we're also documenting the minutes to make sure we're giving updates every three minutes, and then we're okay. giving that information to him just to compile a report in case anything happens. So we're just making sure that we are keeping. She's a record. the uh, media director. Yeah, yeah media director. Yeah. Okay. 
Well, Amy, I appreciate your time. Okay. I'm talking to uh, that's, our that's bad light. intrepid cameraman, <laughs> J. Mark Campbell. And you just had a conversation with the media director? Yeah, just had a conversation with the media director, and she says that she's representing Sa Saeed Aladi during this protest, and that he is the legal representative for this group, and is obviously that he is directing uh, the activities. The activities right. So he's taking a fundamental dynamic role in uh, Occupy Well, Rome. he's obviously one of the leaders. So he is, he's acting as leader and advising all the other people how to react. He's obviously doing this in a pro bono fashion. So Okay. Aladi is uh, the guy. America still has the most potential for forwarding progressive and freedom in the world, no matter how you look at it. Do not let them take the dream away. We must maintain the dream in Florida. In 2012, we must take the house back. Yeah. Yeah. We must take the house back. Yeah. We must let them know that the last 10 years of their agenda that has driven Florida to where it's at will no longer be acceptable and we will not let them do a switch and bait and take President Obama and use him to defeat us in Florida. It will not happen. No. Obama's going to win and Democrats are going to win in 2012. There's no doubt. Yeah. 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 Yeah.